Hi, in this video you will learn different methods of antibiotic sensitivity test and how to perform this diffusion test. Antibiotic sensitivity test is done to choose the antibiotic that will be most effective against a specific type of bacteria or fungus infecting an individual person. The different methods include disc diffusion method, dilution method, diffusion and dilution method. In this video I will explain the disc diffusion method. The two methods of the disc diffusion include Skirbibo and Stokes method. Let's see what are the requirements needed for Skirbibo method. First you need to prepare a bacterial suspension from the pure culture. For that pick up a sterile test tube and mark the number and add 1 to 2 ml of the Muller Hinton broth. You can also prepare the bacterial suspension in the given screw cap ST bottle instead of transferring to a small test tube. Sterilize the wire loop and keep it for cooling. After that, Pick the bacterial colonies from the pure culture and transfer to the test tube containing broth to prepare a bacterial suspension. Once the bacterial suspension is prepared, you can cumber the bacterial inoculum with 0.5 microlan standard. The next step is label the Muller Hindranaga with test culture details or with the identification numbers. Then take the sterile cotton swab and the bacterial suspension. Dip the swab into the bacterial growth and when you take it out, remove any excess liquid by pressing the swab against the sidewall of the tube. Then open the plate and inoculate as loan culture. Wipe the swab in side to side motion gently. The idea is to create uniform layer of bacteria. After completely swabbing the plate in one direction, slightly rotate the plate and continue swabbing. And repeat the swabbing process. Finally, run the swab around the circumference of the plate. Close the plate and then dispose the swab in a biohazard container. The next step is to place the antibiotic disc onto the swab dagger surface. For that, first select the antibiotics. You can transfer the disc with the help of a forceps or also you can use a multi-disc dispenser. Now sterilize the tip of the forceps and pick up the disc carefully from one antibiotic set and place the disc onto the swab dagger surface.
Each disc should be slightly pressed down to ensure the contact with the agar. The disc should not keep closer and keep at least 25 mm distance from disc to disc. Maximum 6 disc only should be applied on a 90 mm plate. Close the plate lid and keep the plate in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius in inverted position for overnight. Now I will show how to place the multiple antibiotic disc on a swap tether surface. Repeat all the procedures like before and pick up the multiple discs with the help of a sterile forceps. Transfer the multiple discs to a swapped other surface plate and lightly press down to ensure the contact with the agar. Close the plate and keep the plate in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius in inverted position for overnight. Following incubation, the plate is taken out and examined for the zone of inhibition and measure the diameter of each zone by a ruler. So let's see how to measure the zone diameter. Note down all the measurements and interpret the zone sizes of each antimicrobial using an interpretative chart. This is the interpretation chart and in the right side column is the zone diameter. Compare your reading with this chart and report the organism as susceptible, intermediate or resistant. The second disc diffusion method is the Stokes method. In Stokes method, the control and the test strains are inoculated on a same plate. In this method, the test organism is inoculated on one part and the control organism in the other part of the plate with a little gap in the middle. Make sure the uninoculated gaps leaving a distance of a 3 to 4 mm wide is needed when performing the test.
Once the inoculation is finished, place the antimicrobial disc in the gap between the test and control strain by using a sterile forceps. Then incubate the plate aerobically at 37 degrees Celsius for 18 to 24 hours. After incubation, measure the radius of the inhibition zone from the middle of the disc to the edge of the zone. Here shows the interpretation of the Slots method.